As the rain's missing my off. We're gonna see if we can't get you a little uh, pickerel. Got a little fish. Something slammed it by the bank right there. Oh, it's a pike. Woo! Toothy boy. <laughs> Heck, it's, it's, teeth, it's teeth ain't that bad. I'm not gonna lie, this hook set is like literally perfect. I hooked it. The hook point is like right, it's right in here, right in the bottom middle of the fish. So I'm gonna need pliers to, to get that hook out of there. But that's a cool fish anyways. I'm gonna leave this here and go grab my pliers. My rod is important. We finally got a video. Let's go. But yeah, I don't know how many of you YouTubers know how many freaking nighttime fishing videos I filmed. Finally, we're on the board and the light. So, uh, <laughs> And try and catch another one before the sun goes down. And then we start night fishing for micros. Hooks out. Last few of our uh, <laughs> actually quite small chain pickerel, but still a chain pickerel. Super neat. And back it goes. Any fish in the little uh, thing? Nope, don't see any. Well. Got a little geyser of water coming out of the ground. So I mean, heck, why not? It does not taste drinkable. I think I think I read somewhere that it is drinkable, but it doesn't taste like that. It tastes like a water that just came out of a cave. It's a very good way of describing it. Hurricane Ugo. Hurricane Ugo. Uh, this is what broke most of these trees. Makes it really kind of unique. Cool looking. It's an older forest than it actually might be. Alright, well, we reached the end of the boardwalk. I didn't see any fish at all. So a bunch of crawled ads, which I guess kind of makes sense. But uh, we're going to go back and fish the ponds to see what we can do there. Alright, found a little warm mouth. See if we can catch it. Oh, it ate it. It ate it super fast. Whoo! I think it's a warm mouth. Yeah, that's a warm mouth. Cool. Look at that a little warm mouth. Going back. Yeah, this one's got some weird colors to it. I think it's a warm mouth, but it's, it's just colored odd. Got it. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's a warm mouth. Sweet little fish. Warm mouth. Going back. No way this is a mosquito fish. It is huge. Got it. Oh, no. No. Was that a mosquito fish? Oh man, now I can't leave. I gotta find another one. Ooh, little, uh, yeah, that's a little mosquito fish. Yep, Cambusia holberki. Really cool teardrop on that one too. Hi, Google. All right, there are new species in here. I think this is a line top minnow. This is a line top minnow. Can I catch it? Oh my gosh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes, that is a line top minnow. Oh my gosh, so cool. Species number 206, Fundulus lineatus. That is, that is super cool. Let's go get the photo tank. So yeah, there's species number 206 for me, Fundus, Fundulus lineolatus. It's like line o lattice because there's a lot of lines. But yeah, that, that's super cool. I've been trying to find this little fish forever, so I'm pretty stoked to have it, finally. 
um, yeah, we're just gonna let it go, see if we can't get a more colorful one. We're gonna get the little guy unhooked and throw him back in the water. Oh, I got it, got it. Oh man, that is, that is a toe biter right there. Uh, I don't know what genus that is. Those are gunshots. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, super cool. They really hurt when they bite. But I'm throw it back too. Ooh, another one. Got it. Got it. We got another line top minnow. This one's actually kind of pretty. Yep. Super pretty. I don't think it's the same one. But uh, we're going to let it go. And back it goes. Alright, just grab this little cricket frog of some kind. Um, not sure exactly what species it is yet, but uh, we'll find out, I guess. Alright, I think I found two line top minnows right next to each other. I don't know which one's prettier. I think it's a male and a female. I'll try and catch it's female because it's a little bigger and it's not spooked. Actually, there's three of them. Wow. Oh, got it. Got it. Yeah, it's another lion top minnow. Yay. Woo, fun fish. Very fun fish. That's actually kind of a really pointy nose. A good underbite. Well, let's see. No, it's a regular underbite. But yeah, there you go. Lion top minnow. I mean, not like ridiculously cool, but still kind of cool. Because <laughs> killifish and darters, those are my two favorite. I can't pick between them. Anyways, there it goes. Back in the water. Okay, here's two more line top minnows. Try and catch this one, I guess. I don't know. Piece of cake. Pete's Vaplazoo cake. Look, it's got a little, uh... Okay, so this is really cool. Some killifish, which makes them, why they're kind of hard to catch at night, have a third eye. And, of course, they have the two eyes on the side, but also they have this little white speck on their forehead. I think it's called the... It's called some, the eye of something. I don't know, but uh, I'll put the words there. But yeah, but yeah, that is a that is a little eye there. It doesn't detect colors; it just detects light. There he goes. Let's see if we can catch the third one. Just to make sure it's not a something we don't have yet. It kind of just looks like a line killifish, because I've never caught a line killifish before. And <laughs> who am I to say what they look like in the water? But, uh, ooh, ooh, what is this? Ooh, this is a female. Yeah, we got a female line killifish. Look at that. See how the lines are horizontal instead of vertical? That's a female. Its eye looks a little, a little bit bigger, too. Huh. Its mouth is kind of green. All right, I think that's it for the night. Um, here's our little fishes right here. Got a tiny, tiny pike in our female line top minnow. And uh, I might fish this place in the morning. I'm not entirely sure because I did hear gunshots back at the campground. And uh, yeah, I don't know why there were gunshots back at the campground. All right, so that was our visit to the pond, uh, at least for the night. I did find the lion killifish, I guess, sort of near the mosquito fish. They're usually up against the bank to about two feet away from the bank. They like the vegetation that was kind of breaking the surface, and they're just sitting right on top of the water, and they pretty much eat anything. They have to put a bait on their forehead, or their nose, whatever. But, yeah, kind of easy once you figure them out. <laughs>